For more, let's bring in Recruiter.com CEO Evan Sohn. Um, Evan, thanks for being with us today. What do you make of this latest headline? We're getting more and more of these lately. I know that your survey shows that knowledge workers are still in high demand. Are you anticipating that trend to soften over the coming months? Yeah, so first of all, thanks for having me back, Deidre. Um, we really are seeing this uh, tale of two job markets. You know, as you mentioned, uh, the recruiter sentiment is up uh, 3.6 out of 5. The candidate sentiment is up. Knowledge workers are still in high demand. But as you pointed out, uh, the workload, meaning the number of roles that the average recruiter in our survey reported working on, it was 16 last month, and it, uh, two months ago, and now 10. That's a huge drop. And what we think that that means is that companies are now being more careful in what they're hiring, no longer just overhire and overhire and overhire, but really focused on recruiting the right people. We're also seeing hybrid roles uh, now uh, replacing in-person as the number one slot compared to hybrid, in-person, or remote. That means those are really the knowledge workers, the people that are being able to go back in the office uh, three days a week, work from home two days a week, as opposed to uh, the factory workers where you got to be in the office uh, five yeah. days a week. Yeah. But the other market, as you mentioned, are all the layoffs that we keep reading about. So it feels like some of this data, though, is at odds with each other. Overall candidate sentiment increased over the summer. However, average number of roles that recruiters are working on, that has plunged more than cut in half this year. Is there a disconnect here? Are people looking for jobs, not really understanding how the market's turning and how quickly it's turning? That, that's right. I, look, I think the job mobility, uh, which we have predicted earlier in the year to really start growing significantly as the sort of the great resignation stopped, is really picking up. You know, th if you looked at the data uh, that came out yesterday from the Jolt report, the difference between the number of people that quit in July of 22 versus July of 21 is only 2%. Hmm. 4.1 plus million people quit both July 22 and July 21. It's a 2% difference. There are 11 million open jobs. Finding talent is hard. It's a hard thing to do. Now, the larger companies that were well-equipped, uh, sophisticated with tools and recruiters and all the services that they have access to were able to not just hire the talent that they wanted, but overhired. And that came at the expense of the companies that needed that talent, that couldn't find that talent. And we're certainly mm -hmm. seeing that rebalancing now. A term you hear more and more these days, Evan, it's being thrown around a lot, is quiet quitting. People not actually quitting their jobs, but taking a step back. Um, when we talk about layoffs, though, or hiring freezes, do you think that people are going to have to pick up more work? What is the sentiment that you're seeing? And also, I wonder, is it becoming harder to fill in-person jobs? Um, so I, I think the companies get to decide. I, I think you're seeing companies figure out, are they going to be a teaching organization where they're hiring people uh, to teach them how to learn, how to be good employees, whether that's uh, the banking uh, companies that are forcing companies, uh, forcing employees back into the office. And obviously you have factories where you, you really have no choice. Uh, but I think companies are deciding what they want to be like, what culture do they want to create? And candidates are following suit. Um, I think that candidates now, it still is a candidate's market. I saw a great report that uh, it's like the slowest, uh, the fastest amount of time that an unemployed person was able to find a job in like decades, decades. I think it was like 15 weeks or something like that. Really incredible how fast people are able to find a job that actually want a job. Yeah, but it feels like there could be a huge shift that is already underway. Um, Evan, thanks so much for being with us and your insights. Evan thanks so, so much.